All right, all right, all right. How you guys doing there? This is me, of course, John Doe, right here in Tokyo, Japan, for another edition of the da -da -da Ghost Letters Report. I want to get into something that is the current like economic kind of model for success here in Japan by the current right-wing fascist government of Shinzo Abe. Has been de uh, declared as Abenomics. Right? Abenomics, right? It's supposed to be, you know, going to save us all. But really, what it's all about is um, a whole process of deregulation, uh, increased inflation, and militarization. Now, aside from the more right wing elements of it, this is nothing more than a repeat of what crashed the Japanese economy in the late uh, 80s. There was a massive bubble formed in Japan due to extreme inflation and deregulation, right? It, caught, it hit every economic class in Japan that time. No one was spared from it. So the government at that time reacted by making it worse, by dumping money into the economy and privatizing a lot of the things the government of Japan would do, like railway, railways, um, postal service, things like that privatized, which opened up new uh, sectors of the of economy for the capitalist class to get some money. So that kind of stabilized the system, system for a while. Um, it provided the capitalist class, you know, with some extra capital there they could exploit and get a hold of. They stopped complaining so much, but it created a, a thing we call the lost generation. It's a whole generation of people, now two generations of people, who could not benefit from the glories of the Japanese system. You know, a lot of them are, you know, being uh, part-time workers or contract workers, uh, cannot really succeed in society because their capital isn't there, you know. So this has been ongoing for a while. We'll take a bit of a walk. And now Abe wants to try to repeat this. But what's different this time is that the capitalist class here in Japan has learned from the mistakes of the late 80s and they're insulating themselves so when the next crash comes they won't be so heavily affected by it as they were last time and we're seeing this through certain moves that are happening for example this thing with inflation and how labor law is being done they're slowly trying to get a, a, a system going to where these people who are in the lost generations and dealing with these type of like work conditions and things, they're trying to legalize those things on a mass scale. And there's a fight against that, but it's rather difficult. And globally, they're trying to remilitarize. That's for profit, obviously. And to be able to force the will of capitalism, the Japanese capitalism, on countries they go in to invest or get a hold of. So they're going through that process as well. So they're going to try to protect themselves. This type of inflation so far, what it's done is made uh, prices go up on things. And they've increased the, the um, consumer's tax at the same time. So it truly is you know, damaging a lot of people's ability to buy things and get a hold of things that they need for basic survival. And that's going to continue. So that type of inflation will keep building and building and building until eventually it becomes insustainable. You have speculation. You have a lot of people who cannot really buy basic necessities on a routine basis in Japan. And that will cause domestic, the domestic economy start to collapse even further. But it won't matter by that time, because what they're hoping for, is that through this militarization, they'll have the proper military to bully, pe bully other um, countries around, so they can exploit their disadvantages. And they can take advantage of the opportunities that the capital, Japanese capitalists will be able to have once they get into these countries and invest in key sectors of their economy. And it's going to continue and get worse. And they talk about, you know, here in Japan, that Abenomics is, a, is benefiting everyone here. Wages are going up. People are spending more. That's not exactly true. Luxury things are being sold more. Because people of the bourgeois or capitalist class are getting more money. Because Japanese people are trying to keep up with these increases in tax, these increases in uh, expectations economically. And they're making less money while inflation is going up, so they're spending more, trying to keep up with it. 
So these capitalists are making more money, they can buy these more expensive things. Yeah. So that's in wages going up. It's only going up in very large companies that are raking in so much profit that they want to retain their workforce because Japan has an extreme workforce problem, just having enough workers in general. So they spread it out a little bit to those people. Yeah. That's where the increases are coming from as far as labor wage increases. You know. Everyone I know, and everyone they know, and everyone they know, I'm not seeing an increase in their wages. They're seeing decreases in their wages. They're seeing increased demand on their work conditions. They're seeing their um, job security be, be taken away from them. These things are going on as the economy transforms itself into a more extreme version of capitalism. So, you know, when people say, Abinomics, you know, has really benefited me. You're full of shit. So if you enjoyed this, hey, subscribe. You get lots of videos like this. From time to time, maybe a surprise or two. So until next time, this is me, John Dole, here in Tokyo. Checking out.